and run making at Hollywood Park. Ederson is the winner. And it's all getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Bob is drawing up. And Bob is able to run away with Diver by five. Yeah, Jack in front. Drawing up. Cougar on the right. And it's a firm death from the Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief of strength. Best pal breaks away. Set bar is all black. Real quiet. Here's now along the inside. This is the gutter. The beautiful Hollywood Park. Glad you could join us for Thursday racing from Betfair Hollywood Park as we kick off a brand new week. Nice weather, good card, three two-year-old races on the program, and a good weekend ahead. Friday night racing, first post at 7.05, the great Jimmy Cliff in concert after the races. Saturday and Sunday, first post time at 1 o'clock. Before we get to Thursday's racing action, let's get you caught up on the jockey and trainer standings. On top, the rider standings, Rafael Bejarano with 46 wins. Joe Talamo is second with 30. Joel Rosario just one week left to ride at the meet, then he's off to New York. He's in third with 24. Trainers, Bob Baffert, 21. John Satter with 14. Jerry Hollendorf having a good meet, sitting in third with 11 wins. Now on to the Thursday racing action. In the opener, six and a half furlongs, three-year-olds, a claiming price of $10,000. Tribal Dreams was claimed off a win on May 4th. Drops in for 10 off that claim. First start back, the three to five choice. Seven went six and a half in the first. They're off. Kongratsky stumbled and unseated the rider. Number five, Kongratsky has unseated the rider. Wise guys in Tribal Dreams, call me Jones. These three, Tribal Dreams moves through and takes the lead. What's for dinner and at the rail? Pop the cork and now the trailer is super candy. It's Tribal Dreams up the back stretch, a length in front of Call Me Jones in second. Then it's two and a half lengths to Wise Guys. Pop the Cork is at the rail, and what's for dinner just outside of him. Super Candy going to be four wide, leaving the back stretch, and now seven lengths behind as they go into the far turn. And the leader is Tribal Dreams. Tribal Dreams, a length and a half in front of Call Me Jones, who races in second. Now it's four lengths to What's for Dinner and Pop the Cork, who's on the move at the rail, but under heavy pressure from Marty Pedroza. Super Candy is next. Wise Guys has been pulled up going to the quarter pole. Number four, Wise Guys pulled up and out of the race. Tribal Dreams continues to lead. Call Me Jones continues to chase, but now he's three lengths behind Tribal Dreams, who comes to mid stretch and has a commanding advantage. Tribal Dreams now four in front. Call Me Jones is second. Pop the cork and what's for dinner. Continue to battle second and third, but it will be Tribal Dreams clear to the wire. Tribal Dreams in front. Tribal Dreams won by four. Call Me Jones was second, pop the court third. What's for dinner? Finish fourth. The favorite Tribal Dreams gets his fourth win in his fifth lifetime start. He's owned by William Ernest, a gelded son of Tribal Rule. First off the claim for trainer Gary Sherlock. Call Me Jones finished second and third was pop the court. The winner was claimed three-way shake to Keith Craigmile for $10,000. Final time, 117 and two. Race number two, five furlongs in the turf, two-year-old maidens in a field of seven. Put blinkers on number three, Collation. Number six, Manny will the favorite at four to five, one of two Peter Miller entrants. Seven went five on the turf in race two. They're up. Manawal broke very well. So did Salutos Amigos, these two fast, speeding through the city away in third. Maselli is fourth and Rob's pal in Collation. And the trailer is Boozer. Salutos Amigos and Manawal into the far turn. Salutos Amigos ahead in front. Manawal is second. A length and a half to Stablemate speeding through the city, who looks sharp leaving the back stretch in the pink and two from the front. Then it's three lengths to Maselli, another four to Rob's pal. Two lengths more to Collation, about 11 from the front. And Boozer's the trailer, 14 lengths behind. And you better take a look at speeding through the city because here he comes three wide without being asked. And speeding through the city is going to be tough. He has taken over a short lead from Salutos Amigos in second. Manuel backs out in third. Final 16th, speeding through the city. A very game. Salutos Amigos speeding through the city, though, has a neck in front. Salutos Amigos second, speeding through the city. Ended up three quarters at the wire over Salutos Amigos. Maselli got third, Rob's pal fourth. Speeding through the city, a daughter of City Zip makes her debut, a winning one, owned by Barber Barber Sujahara. Trained by Peter Miller, Joe Talamo up. 
This filly was scratched out of a maiden $50,000 claiming race on June 7th at the gate when she was 6 to 5. Comes back in straight maiden company and scores nicely. $9.20 for the win. Salutos Amigos second. Third was Miscelli. Double 1880. Final time 56 and 3. We'll take a break. Come back with a Thursday pick six. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. On to the third race at four and a half furlongs, maiden claimers for a $50,000 tag. Scratch number three, Gambolina, she was an early scratch. Number four, Snackable, was a vet scratch going to the gate. The favorite, number nine, Ia Tapa, a first time starter at odds of four to five. Fixed offer with the start of the pick six. They're off. Slow start, Half Moon Gambler, Pursuit of Paradise, and Divas and Diamonds break best. Then Tangled Rock at the rail, Pat's back between horses, and Iotapa four deep and on the move within a length and a half of the lead. Then comes Half Moon Gambler out of last place after the slow start, and Bellissimi is the trailer, and the leader is Pursuit of Paradise. Pursuit of Paradise, a neck in front of Divas in Diamonds. Iotapa is three wide, Pat's back, a lot of run, nowhere to go. Pat's back searching for a seam, two off the lead. Then comes Half Moon Gambler and Tangled Rock, top of the stretch, Divas and Diamonds. Iotapa three wide, Pursuit of Paradise. Here's a seam for Pat's back, if good enough, but Divas and Diamonds and Iotapa kick on. Pat's back, two back in third, Iotapa takes over the lead. Divas and Diamonds, Pat's back, Iotapa. Iotapa one by two, Divas and Diamonds second, Pat's back third, Pursuit of Paradise, finish fourth. Favorite Ia Tapa scores nicely for trainer Marty Jones and jockey Rafael Bejarano to the tune of $3.80. Finishing second was the eight Divas and Diamonds. Third was first time starter Pat's back who had trouble finding room and actually ran pretty well. There was a claim to winner Ia Tapa, a two-way shake to John Sadler for $50,000. Final time, 51 and four. On to race number four at six furlongs, three olds and up, which have never won two, claiming price $25,000. First time Lasix on the five, George's friend. Blinkers go on the six, Panatoni. Number seven, Chapman's Peak drops in class and is off as the eight to five choice. Hollywood Heist is in and they're off. George's friend and zombie slayer Mr. Darcy break best. Chapman's Peak away a sharp third. Hollywood Heist is fourth. Then comes Runaway Bandito and Magic Beam and the early trailer is Panatoni. It's George's friend up the back stretch, three quarters of a length from Chapman's Peak, who tracks in second. Then a lineup of three, Runaway Bandito, Zombie Slayer Mr. Darcy, and Hollywood Heist, one, two, and three on the program, track in third position and about two from the front. Then it's four lengths further back to Magic Beam and another four to Panatoni, three furlongs from the money, and there goes Chapman's Peak to make his move outside of George's friend. When we get to the quarter pole, we'll have a new and clear leader. It is Chapman's Peak a length in front. Runaway Bandito moves through into second to the outside Hollywood Heist. George's friend is gone. Then comes Zombie Slayer Mr. Darcy, and Runaway Bandito comes to challenge Chapman's Peak, and the two of them come past mid-stretch, and they are together. Chapman's Peak angles in for competition with Runaway Bandito and it worked. Chapman's Peak now takes the lead. Runaway Bandito second, Panatoni third, Chapman's Peak. That's race riding Martin Garcia. Chapman's Peak wins a length and a half. Runaway Bandito was second, Panatoni third, Magic Beam finished fourth. The favorite Chapman's Peak holds off a game. Runaway Bandito to score for owner Keith Abrahams, trainer John Sadler and jockey Martin Garcia. 540 on the win end. Runaway Bandito ran well in defeat and was a ways back to the third horse, Panatone. Pick three, 29-30. Final time, 109-3. We'll take a timeout, come back with the late pick four. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. 
free contest like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Thursday's fifth, the start of the late pick four, a mile and one sixteenth on the turf for California bred fillies and mares in a field of seven. Highly rated comes off a good maiden win. She's the choice at six to five. Scratch number seven, Coconino, seven, went a mile and sixteenth on the grass in race five. They're up. Slow start, miss speed dating. Fast start, highly rated, who goes for the front from Alanamar and Long Legged Lovely. Warren's Goldie comes away in fourth, right alongside her ruffled feathers, then Plaza Rita, and the tardy start has Miss Speed Dating at the back of the pack. Already double digits first last, highly rated is the leader at the clubhouse turn, and she's built up a two and a half length advantage on Alanamar in second. Long Legged Lovely races third and about four from the front, three and a half to the gray. Warren's Goldie fourth at the rail and about seven lengths behind. Ruffled Feathers just outside of her. Miss Speed Dating is now taking up. Boy, it's been a nightmare for her in the first three furlongs. Miss Speed Dating absolutely slammed on the brakes up the backstretch and lost a couple more lengths after that slow start. So they head up the backstretch. If Miss Speed Dating wins, she's a half hour the best. Highly rated is the leader. Three quarters of a length from Alanamar, who's much closer in second. Two lengths to Long Legged Lovely in third. Plaza Rita's on the move in the center of the racetrack and way to the center at that. She's in about the four path. Leaves openings for both Ruffled Feathers and Warren's Goldie nearer the fence. Miss Speed Dating still at the back of the pack. Now nine lengths behind. Highly rated, who takes them all the way to this point. Highly rated, three quarters of a length from Alanamar, who's now even closer in second. Long-legged Lovely is third and two and a half from the front. Warren's Goldie comes under a ride. Maybe the saddle slipped just a little forward on Warren's Goldie. She's about five from the lead. Top of the stretch. Here comes Alanamar outside of Highly Rated. And Alanamar comes calling for the lead. Alanamar, a neck in front of Highly Rated in second. Long-legged Lovely is third. Warren's Goldie is fourth. Alanamar and Highly Rated. Alanamar, a neck in front. Highly Rated. Long-legged Lovely. Alanamar wins. Alanamar won three quarters. Alanoir won by a neck, highly rated second three quarters, long legged lovely third, close for fourth. Elena Marr was second at the condition and her only other start of the meet back on May 25th. Good handling by David Flores. She scores for trainer Bruce Headley at $7.20. Favorite, highly rated, just second best, third, long legged lovely. Pick four, 49.30. Pick five, $111.60. Final time, 143 and two. On to the sixth race, the start of the final pick three, maiden claimers for a $20,000 tag and a mile and one sixteenth. Scratch number two, Sweet Celia Moon, number one, Zenit, and number seven, Malibu Love, both off at two to one. Malibu Love was the post-time favorite. They're off. Zenit breaks well. Red Intrigue is close up. Ardell in the center. These three fastest. Jerry's Car and Malibu Love just in behind the lead. Then Silix Valley and the early trailer is I'm Always Hopeful. Ardell going to try to cross and clear, and she does. Ardell to the front for Danny Vergara. Now two and a half in front of Zenit, who relents and sits second. Three lengths to Red Intrigue in third. Then a length to Malibu Love. About to be a joint third, but a seven from the front. Jerry's car is fifth with eight and a half lengths to make up. Silix Valley has 12 to come, and she's two and a half in front of I'm Always Hopeful, who would have to make up 14 lengths to win. She's got five furlongs to do it, and Ardell aggressive up the backstretch. Ardell has built up a big lead to the half-mile pole. She is five in front of Zenit, who continues to track in second. Then comes Red Intrigue and a three-wide Malibu Love, and all three of those are coming after Ardell. Ardell's either taking a breather or she's completely out of gas. We'll find out. She's only a length in front. Jerry's car and Silix Valley are next. Now six off the lead. I'm always hopeful. Only has nine to come, and the answer was out of gas. Ardell's gone. So Zenit and Red Intrigue. Those are the two that go to the quarter pole together. Zenit's inside. Red Intrigue's outside. 
Five lengths now to a hard-ridden Malibu Love. I'm Always Hopeful has closed in strongly. Going to have to go around Malibu Love, who's getting out. I'm Always Hopeful is the stretch threat. She's got four to make up on Red Intrigue, who's now the clear leader. It is Red Intrigue in front. Two lengths from Zenit in second. I'm Always Hopeful continues to close, but Red Intrigue is three and a half in front. I'm Always Hopeful just took second. Malibu Love is third, and Red Intrigue is home. Red Intrigue wins. Two and a half over, I'm always hopeful. Malibu Love was third and Zenit fourth. Second time around, two turns. Fifth start overall, Red Intrigue scores for the combination of Edwin Maldonado and Patty Harrington, $14.40. I'm always hopeful. Second, the favorite Malibu Love faded to third. Pick three, $94 and a dime. One claim, the runner up. I'm always hopeful, the Rafael de Leon for $20,000. Final time, 146 and one. We'll take a break, come back with a late double. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. Thursday's featured race at six and a half furlongs, an allowance race. Phillies and Mares three and up with a good purse of $55,000. Orientatious makes her first start of the year. She comes off two impressive wins last summer. She's the even money choice. Glamorista won a two Baffert entrance, a second choice at two to one. A quintet traveled six and a half furlongs in race number seven. They're off. Sparkling style breaks best, goes for the front from Orientatious and Glamorista, second and a third. True Way of Grace is fourth, and the early trailer is Gem of Soul. Not going very fast at all up the back stretch, and Sparkling Style is the leader from Stablemate. Glamorista, these two, one, two, and two lengths in front of Orientatious, who's a unmanageable and headstrong third. She wants to go after the Baffert trainees. Then comes True Way of Grace, fourth and five from the front. Gem of Soul has seven lengths to make up and has to do it into easy fractions as they leave the back stretch with Sparkling Style the leader. Sparkling Style now a length in front of Glamorista in second. Orientatious still wants to go and now she gets one notch let out by Bejarano and Orientatious moves up three wide within a length of the lead. Then it's two and a half back to True Way of Grace and the trailer is Gem of Soul and Orientatious is now three lengths behind. She's going nowhere. Orientatious didn't fire at all. So it's the Two Baffert's coming to the final furlong, and it's going to be a good one. Glamorista and Sparkling Style, and they're shoulder to shoulder. Glamorista just in front. Sparkling Style cannot go with her, and Glamorista is going to outrun her stablemate. Bob Baffert won two. Glamorista. Glamorista beat Sparkling Style a length and a quarter. True Way of Grace finished third, and Gem of Soul was fourth. The Baffert Phillies battled out down the lane. The nod goes to Glamorista, daughter of unbridled song owned by Thoroughbred Legends Racing Stable. Bob Baffert, Chantal Sutherland aboard, $6.40. Sparkling Style was second. True Way of Grace got up for third to favorite. Out of the race on the turn and finished last. Final time, 116 and 1. Eighth and final closes out the Thursday card. Four and a half furlong maiden climbing race. Two year old Phillies in a field of nine. First time starter on the rail, Renee's Titan bet down to the second choice at five to two. Another horse, Citizen Bernstein's second time starter, the eight to five favorite. Nine two year olds traveled four and a half in the final race. They're off. Kip did he do broke well. So did Renee's Titan. These two fast. Wellington Beauty, Yodelin Moon, Restless Ruby, and Citizen Bernstein, and Ruler of the Tribe, five across the track, third flight. Then comes Amy's Cashin' In, and the trailer is Warren's Fantasy. Renee's Titan is fastest around the far turn, now a length in front of Kip Did He Do. A three-wide Wellington Beauty is moving up, four-wide is Citizen Bernstein. Ruler of the Tribe is fifth in the pink at the rail and less than two from the front. Then it's three back to Amy's Cash and In, followed by Yodelin Moon and Restless Ruby, and the trailer is Warren's Fantasy, and the leader is Renee's Titan. Renee's Titan now two lengths in front of Wellington Beauty in second, then to the inside and ruler of the tribe, but Renee's Titan is pouring it on now, and she's got it. Renee's Titan four in front of Wellington Beauty, going to be close for the other awards. Renee's Titan wins. 
and wins big four and a half. Wellington Beauty was second. Ruler of the Tribe third. Amy's Cash and In split horses for fourth, and Kip Did He Do was fifth. Renee's Titan pops the gate, makes the lead, and never looks back. First time starter owned and bred by John Leviakis. Melody Conlon winning conditioner, Martin Garcia aboard this daughter of Bernstein, $7.40. Another well meant first time starter, Wellington Beauty, second best, but ran a winning race. Third was the three ruler of the tribe. Pick three, 207.80. Super high five, $7,931.80. Late pick four, 482.75. Pick six, six out of six, $9,076.60. Five out of six, 185.40. Place pick all a signer, perfect tickets, six hundred seventy-eight dollars and thirty cents. First post time Friday night at seven oh five. As of now, no scratches on a Friday night program. That'll do it for Thursday racing from Betfair Hollywood Park. Back up and running Friday night. First post at seven oh five for a good eight race program. Hope to see you then. Until Friday night for track announcer Vic Stoffer. I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park. <laughs>